So as you can see, um, I have an issue here because I have this GoPro and it's just kind of freelancing in here. Um, I have this gap in here in the top. Um, I have these dividers that kind of organize my stuff, as you could tell. Um, but it's not perfect. I don't like how the batteries kind of just linger in here. And I use these uh, Velcro uh, cable ties to um, hold stuff down and have stuff just basically banging up against each other. So I'm going to fix that. Um, and here's one of the ways I figured it out and um, hope it helps you. It's not, you know, the only way. I'm sure there's other ways. Uh, Pelican also sells stuff like this, but in a foam uh, style. And basically you cut uh, the strips to the size you want. And they have these like little fingers that connect down into them. And they connect everything into like a grid pattern. Um, the only problem with that is they're expensive. So what I ended up doing was buying this foam. I'm going to put Velcro along the edges. Uh, use some hot glue to Velcro uh, the edges. So that way it sticks in here. Everything stays in place and everything has a spot where it should live. So let's get it done. We want to measure the width at its widest point, And then we want to measure the height at its highest point. Um, so that includes pulling up on your, uh, your strap here, measuring to this point, and then figuring out this curvature. Uh, use something that's uh, cylindrical, like a, a bucket or something, if you have a bucket this size, or um, some type of tub. Uh, ice cream tub might work, depending on your bag. So just use that uh, radius on something cylindrical to uh, carve your foam after you get the furthest points. And then uh, worry about um, molding your foam for whatever you're inserting into the foam. So we'll start off by measuring this stuff out, which I already remember the dimensions. So let's get to tracing it and um, cutting out our foam. I'll cut out since this is two and a quarter inches thick we need three inches uh, because that's what the velcro I bought so I could cut this in half but I don't want to do that only because I want to fit this in here like this and sit it flush and so I'm gonna make another cut out and then I'm gonna separate these layers so if you see closely you can see the layers um, on each foam piece so I'm gonna separate the layers like that and then I'll build it up so that way it's a three inch thick foam and I'll use spray glue to spray it together but first let's cut the secondary piece and uh, get that together so one thing to know when uh, cutting this foam is once you do it's real easy to cut it shears really easily um, Basically, since the foam is thick, you gotta extend your blade all the way out and then just run it along that line. And you don't need to saw it, just run it along and it'll cut it really easily. Um, but the key to getting this to have a good fitment is measure it oversized by about a half inch or so and then cut off little bits, um, little increments at a time. So that way it fits your back snugly. Um, this 
will fit it snug. It's just uh, sticking out only because the way this curvature is on the bag, it's a loose bag. So it's gonna uh, kind of just flop there for a little bit. Um, but make sure once you get the size, um, especially the length, so that way it holds it in uh, somewhat, just cut little uh, slices out of it and then reinsert it. If you need to adjust, cut some more off of it and reinsert it. Um, but the thickness or the width here is basically the width of this area. And the reason for that is because this is just the sidewall. It's theoretically supposed to go straight up. Um, if you go oversize, you'll be pushing on the sidewall and then when you zip it up, it's gonna wanna bow the foam in. But this foam's really stiff, so I doubt you're gonna get a lot of bow. Um, but just keep that in mind. Uh, if you wanna zip up your bag easily, make sure you make it the width of the back support. So I recommend using some uh, spray adhesive uh, like this Super 77 th from 3M. You could get it at your Home Depot. And I prefer this over hot glue for this area because if you put hot glue here and you're pulling out a section, you might run into the hot glue and it might uh, be hard to cut through with your knife. Um, so a thinner substance may be a little bit better for that application on this uh, gluing two foams together. Um, and then also you spray it on one end and then spray it on the other end and uh, let it tack up for a couple minutes. Once it gets tacky, then you put it together and uh, let it sit. Um, as you can see, this sat for about a minute and when pulling it apart, you see all the glue lift. Um, but this has only been together for maybe a couple minutes. So this will uh, provide a good bond between the layers. And then when you hot glue your Velcro to the side of it, that'll keep the ends from opening up as well. I'm using to separate the layers once I measure three and a half inches is uh, I use the razor blade to kind of uh, cut along the edge so to get a seam split and then I use my fingers and I kind of scoop it away uh, don't try to pull on it pull it apart because it will tear and it will leave you a, a ugly looking finish um, but since we have a top and a bottom, it's not going to really matter uh, because if it does look ugly, you could face that side facing down. And then once you cut out your areas where you're going to put your um, your devices and you start plucking it out, you could use this t uh, thin top layer and reinsert over the top of that area you cut out to give it that nice finish still and then glue that layer back in. So let me get this separated and uh, just basically go down the line and open it up. It is real tough, um, so take your time. Don't tear anything. As you can see, it is kind of hard to pull apart uh, when you're dealing with such a thick piece, uh, only because you're not dealing with little layers where you're separating each one. But what you can do easily is just take your blade and play it around to smooth it back out. Uh, one thing you could do with the jacked up edge or the jacked up side is face it down when you glue it. So basically what you're going to do is glue the, uh, the bad side onto the foam and flip this one upside down like that. Once you flipped it upside down, uh, this will be at the bottom. This will be the top layer. And the only time you'll see it is if you pluck to this uh, layer. 
But like I said, you could take a piece off of this one and uh, set it on the top and glue it on uh, in the hole that you cut out. Or use the section that you remove and just chop it off so that way you sit a nice flush uh, face on it. So no big deal. Uh, that's just a little work around. Okay, so you got your object that you have. Uh, you, you have different depths. So what you want to do is trace out the outline of it. Because I'm going to have it sit in there like that. And so it's going to countersink a little bit. Something like that. So measure where you want this to lay out. And you want to make sure you have some foam in there. So the feet are going to stick down to about right there. And then I'm going to cut across here. After I cut this outline out, I'm going to cut across here because this is the area that I want to drop down the furthest. And then I'm going to have another level right here uh, to support the body. So this thickness here. And then another level to support this dome feature, which would be up here. And then you could always uh, dig deeper after you're, you're done cutting. You could peel up more layers if you have to uh, sit it deeper. Just get the general outlook of what you need it to look like and then go from there. Okay, so to get these cutouts, what I did was I took a piece of copper pipe, heated it up with a torch, and then pushed it in there and it melts it back really nicely. And then uh, from when you tore it out, and then sit in there just like that so it sits in there perfectly doesn't move around and then repeat the process to all your other gear One technique that I found to work really well is set your blade to about one inch or less and basically make your incision around the area you want to cut out. Once you cut it out, pull it up, take out that, that thickness that you cut out with your blade and then re, uh, trace that area that you cut out and then do the same thing again until you get the depth you want. And the reason for this is when your blades fully extend it like this, you get a bow in it. And when you're cutting, you'll have these jagged edges along the edge, like I do here. So the best way to do it is basically cut with about a half inch to an inch. The blade's sticking out. And then uh, take your blade, for instance, the side, cut it off. Once you cut it off, pull it back, and then uh, do it again. So once again, keep about that much of the blade sticking out. Cut it, cut it, cut it. And then uh, cut it like that. Once you cut it like that, and basically what you do is peel off this layer, and then keep the same edge. Bring your blade down more, like that. Cut it again, and just rest the tool, the blade holder, against your foam as you're cutting and that will keep your blade straight. Okay, so this is what you have once you put the Velcro on the side. Just 
just run along the side, put the hot glue in there, squeeze it together. Uh, be careful because if the hot glue is too hot, it'll start melting the foam. And these are our pockets. This is the cutout for the iPad. This is for the GoPro, the controller, the batteries, and then the Mavic. So then we insert it into there. We'll see what it looks like after it's done. Alright, so that's going to conclude today's video. If you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see content like this and other content I post, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace. So as you can see, I utilized the full length and I cut it seven inches wide because that's what I needed. And uh, by cutting, I just mean I ran my fingers along this edge and just kind of pulled them apart. I went down the whole thing, pulled it apart, being careful not to tear the other side. Um, so you just run your fingers across there and these little micro uh, connections right there are what hold everything together. So you just run it down and then at the very ends, it has this continuous piece of foam that goes all the way around. So you, I just took scissors and cut it straight down there and the same thing on that end. And then once we got the size, now all we do is run the Velcro along there with some hot glue. So after installing the foam, as you could tell, it keeps its structure on the bag. And uh, it doesn't fold in because now it has something that fills in all those voids. But it sits in there pretty nicely. Now all we got to do is um, trace out the areas that we need our stuff to sit in and uh, how deep we want it to sit down into the foam. Okay, so this is what I ended up with once I plucked out the foam areas that needed to be plucked out um, to house my uh, drone and my, my GoPro. So basically, I'm going to put a, a foam base all the way around the bottom of that so you won't see none of the backpack. But basically, here's what we have. <laughs>